Hello. The purpose of this video is to show you how to create your own QR codes. For this demonstration, I want to show you how to link to something, for example, if this would be a Google presentation that I wanted to link to in a QR code. And then I'm going to demonstrate it on several different websites where you can create the QR code. To begin, you're going to get the link for whatever it is that you want to create a QR code. So for example, if I created this Google presentation and I wanted to link to it, I would click share and then I need to get the shareable link. It would be no different if I went to YouTube and grabbed the hyperlink, if I went to a Google Doc and grabbed the hyperlink, if I went to a school website and grabbed the hyperlink. You just need to get the link to whatever it is that you want to then link in your QR code. So in this case, I've linked this. So I've copied it. And there's a few different QR code generators that we recommend. The first one I'll go over is qrstuff.com. And this one, all you do is you paste in the QR code. I like to do command V, but you can also do edit paste. And immediately this QR code over here on the right hand side is gonna update. I know it doesn't look like it did, but it did. And um, with QR stuff, you'll just click download QR code and immediately you'll have a QR code that has an image. In this case, it's a PNG. And if I were to scan that, it would take you directly to my Google presentation. So QR stuff, you just paste it here. Another website that we recommend is QR code generator. And this one works very similarly. You just paste it, I do command V. Um, and you'll hit the enter key on this one, or you can do edit paste. And then over here is the QR code. And with this one, when you go to download it, you'll see if I just click download, it's gonna ask me to sign up. So you don't need to actually sign up for anything. Um, you, the, most, the easiest way on QR code generator is just to take a screenshot um, because you'll see this pops up and then it downloads as a zip file, which can be a little bit confusing. For people, so if you're familiar with zip files, you can use that. If not, um, you could just do a right click and do save as, or like Leah recommends just doing a screenshot, which is Command Shift 4, and draw around the QR code. That's up to you and your preference. Um, and then that would be saved to my desktop. In QR code generator, you can just click this download, or QR stuff, you can just click download. In QR code generator, I would recommend that you take a screenshot. Unless you're familiar with using a zip file, you can click this download. Another option that I want to show you is Google. And if you paste the URL and click shorten, Google, goo.goal is just like um, Bitly. If you've heard of Bitly, it's just a way of shortening a website. So um, this one makes you click, I'm not a robot. So if I shorten the, the website link, you can see right here it gives me a shortened link, but a lot of people don't know if you click on this details right here, it will actually generate a QR code. And now when I right click on that QR code, I can copy the image and just paste it, you know, wherever it is you are pasting it in a document or a PowerPoint, or you can do save image as. So that's another great resource that you can use. One thing I want to mention that's available in QR stuff or in QR code generator as if you're not linking to a document, but you just want to type text, you can click plain text. And I might type in the answer to a question. For example, if the answer is 50, if I type in 50, the QR code over here, when I scan it, is just going to say 50. Or you might say congratulations or whatever it is that you want to scan. If you just want text, you can type that in. And that's a benefit of using QR stuff. Or if you're using QR code generator, same thing. I can click text. And then if I type in, you know, you may now move on to the next step. Maybe you're giving them directions or something and then you hit the enter key. Now, if you were to scan this QR code, you would see what I've typed. So that is a benefit of using one of those two QR code generators as opposed to goo.goal requires a link. So that's just a quick overview of how to make a QR code. These three are the ones that we recommend the most. Everyone kind of, as you get into it and play with it, kind of finds one that you prefer. Um, and then, you know, once you have the QR code, you can paste it wherever you want. For example, let me open up Word for just a second. Um, and let's say, for example, that I copied this one, copy image. This is the one that links to my Google presentation. You can see it there. 
And this even gives you the analytics. It will tell you how often it was clicked. But you know, then if I'm in a Word document, I just copied it. So if I paste it, my QR code is just going to paste right there. Or if you've saved it as an image, insert, photo, picture from file, I'll go to the one that I downloaded. You know, you can insert it that way too. You could do the same thing if you're in a Google Doc, if you're in a Google presentation, PowerPoint, whatever you prefer. But you'll just paste in that QR code. I've also seen teachers just open this up on their computer, up on the projector, and have students scan it. So there's just a quick overview of how to create your own QR code. Thank you.